Hi, Bill Parliman from RadicalMarketingSolutions.com and this is video 8 of the Beginner's Guide to Small Business Internet Marketing. How to take your offline business online. And today I have a very exciting topic to discuss with you because it's all about the money. You've done your keyword research, you've created your website, you got traffic to your site, and now you have a prospect on your site who's whipped out their credit card and they're ready to spend money on your products and services. So now you need a way to accept your prospects credit card information and get that money into your account. So let's talk about the two different ways there are to accept credit card payments online. So the first way to do this is to open your own merchant account. And then the second way is to create a third party merchant account. So let's first talk about opening your own merchant account. What a merchant account does, what they're in business for is to take the credit card information from your customer process it, and then deposit those funds into your bank account. When you open your own merchant account, there is an application process. They will run your credit report, and there will be a fee associated with the application process. But there are a couple benefits to having your own merchant account, which are first, typically the per transaction fees, in other words, how much they charge you to process each um, transaction on your website is typically lower than some of the other options you have online. And secondly, it's much more professional to have your own merchant account. So if you have a large site or if you're a uh, well-known brand or uh, business, it's probably a smarter idea to have your own merchant account. So let's talk about how this whole process actually occurs and how the merchant account, um, they process the credit card and actually get to the point where they're putting the money in your bank account. So the first thing you need to know is it starts with a sh online shopping cart. And um, the shopping cart is the mechanism that actually takes your customer's credit card information, address, name, things like that, and then sends it over to the payment gateway. Now what a online payment gateway does is they actually encrypt the information and then send that information to your merchant account who processes it and then deposits the money into your bank account. Now for a shopping cart, I use one shopping cart and I've had excellent results with them. A lot of people ask me who I use for these things so I'm just going to kind of share this with you. So one shopping cart, you can create that in their, um, it's an internet-based shopping cart. You can create the uh, forms and codes and you copy and paste it into your website and then all the different forms will show up on your website to take the uh, credit card information. I use authorized.net as my payment gateway. Um, again, I've had excellent results with them. A lot of marketers, online uh, business owners use them and they specialize in um, uh, the payment gateway for credit card payments. And in my merchant account, I use PowerPay. There are many different merchant accounts out there. Just do a Google search and you'll find um, a bunch of them. I use PowerPay because they have a special division within their business that focuses solely on people who sell things online. They understand my business and we have a very good working relationship and they've been excellent for me. So those are the three resources I want to share with you. So now let's talk about third-party merchant accounts. Um, you probably recognize some of these businesses like PayPal, Google Checkout, and CC Bill. Third-party merchant accounts, typically um, there are no setup fees, so you can, you can get your uh, third-party merchant account set up and, and ready to go. However, the per-transaction fees are typically much higher than if you had your own merchant account, so you just kind of need to uh, weigh that out. Also, third-party merchants are good for um, newer businesses online. If you only have a few things um, that you're selling, and there's not as much perceived professionalism when using one of these types of uh, checkout processes. Sometimes people don't feel comfortable putting their credit card through something like PayPal or Google Checkout. Um, and there's going to be a little bit more friction from your customers giving you their payment information using these kinds of um, um, companies. But if you're just new starting out or if you're going to test out a new product, um, it's very easy to use these guys. Uh, again, in order to get a a payment button on your site in order to take the payments. Um, it's going to be a HTML code that you copy paste put right on your website. 
So there you have it. Those are the two ways that you can accept credit card information online. And if you need any more information or if you'd like to learn more about uh, getting your business up and running online, um, request a copy of my free report. Put your name and email in the uh, opt-in box to the top right of this website. Free report is the seven most common and costly mistakes business owners make when taking their offline business online. And this is Bill Parliament saying, now go dominate Google.